Hi, my name is Mark Everett, and I am the owner and operator of the Block Factory, as well as Everett Drafting and Design. In my full-time job, I create shop drawings for the woodworking industry, and what I've found is that in the, in the process of making these shop drawings, there are many objects and symbols and, and other items that are used over and over again, so what I decided to do is create a drawing uh, package uh, including all these blocks so that I could uh, bring them to the public. And so what I'd like to do is, is just to briefly uh, describe there are about seven different categories, uh, appliances, cabinet blocks, cabinet sections, uh, hardware, millwork details, moldings, and then uh, also some additional symbols. And then in, also included in this package are some custom macros, which I found that uh, make my uh, drawing process a lot more efficient and uh, quicker to draw. Um, those are included in there also, and some sample drawings. Uh, so what I'd like to do, um, just in this brief little bit of time, is to um, um, show you one of the categories that I use quite a bit, which are the, this, this particular group here, is the wall cabinets within the cabinet block section and this is what I use most of the time that uh, really saves me a lot of time so what I would like to do is demonstrate how these are put once you purchase this block factory you copy the files to your hard drive it's not a program in any way it's just blocks so what you would do is just take a hold of this and press down on your left key your mouse button and drag these over to your tool palette and I have these stored in individual groups and this particular blocks already here so uh, just for the sake of this demonstration I'll drop it on here but um, basically that's how simple it is you just drag and drop these to your uh, tool palette so I'm going to delete that off there now uh, let me go to my demonstration drawing these are two these two are uh, sample drawings that I've actually created using these blocks and all these many of these items on this page here are blocks so basically if I wanted to create these three wall cabinets, I just go to my wall cabinet area, pull these into the drawing, and place the drawing right here. Okay, now these are dynamic blocks. They're not just standard, you know, one-dimensional blocks. They ha you can change the width of this. You can change the height of it. So if I just pick on this, I can change this to 30, and in your, your my quick properties, which is open all the time, I can you can see that these are the three parameters set up here for this particular block. I can change the height by just changing it here, or I can pick on this block, go here, change the height to 36. So if I wanted to maybe make three of these cabinets and then for whatever reason go in and change this last one here to say 24 inches then say I want to make them all you know 30 inches tall just change them all at one time and one of the last things that I can demonstrate in a short period of time is when I open this particular block up the pull detail that's in here is actually a block stored within the cabinet block itself and that block has uh, various different um, blocks within or, or pulls stored within that block so you can actually you can add to or take away from these uh, but basically you have horizontal pull vertical pull with a lock uh, knobs um, actually none so you can just get rid of it if you want to put your own custom one on outside this block uh, Doug Mocket uh, edge pull uh, a Doug Mocket edge pull vertical and also I put on here a Hafla block uh, just something I added in just to, for the demonstration. Um, so on another video, I'll probably come back and, and describe how simple it is actually to add to this particular block and maybe even customize this uh, block some more. But I hope this demonstration is helpful and I hope you'll visit the Block Factory um, website and check out the blocks that are available. Thank you very much.